All right, so one of the biggest areas where you can find improvement when you're hot rodding basically any engine is cylinder heads. The 7.3 is no different. So Brian's gonna take us through a stage two cylinder head that he had worked up. Brian, what's special about this cylinder head? Okay, well, I'll we'll start with, as you said, this is a stage two, and I'll talk kind of about the stage one, two, and three as I'm going through. Perfect. So people can kind of understand the difference. So first, uh, as with any cylinder head, you know, CNC porting of the intake and the exhaust, valve sizes are all very crucial. So this is a stage two, which still utilizes the stock rocker arm system, as opposed to the stage three, which we have machined off and we have a shaft mounted rocker system to go with that. Right. That's intended for the all out heads up racing um, with titanium intake valves, you know, two and a quarter, those will go two and a quarter on the intake, one 700 on the exhaust on the stage three. This stage two is gonna be for the person that doesn't wanna go th quite that far, but still is looking for substantial power gains. We haven't run this on dyno yet, but we are gonna run it. And so you're gonna have to watch our future videos on that. I'm expecting this to really perform very, very well. Now, again, these are all from the stock casting. So one of the things we have to know is we do have to live with the stock combustion chamber thicknesses, the stock deck thicknesses, and we're gonna to have to make sure that you know it's gonna be reliable power. That's why right. we wanna run everything here, know it's gonna work, and know that's gonna be reliable for people in the field. Nice thing about these stage two heads versus the stage one, the stage one utilizes stock intake valves, stock exhaust valves, uh, the stage one head also has stock valve guides in it. It still flows substantially well. With the stage one heads, with one of our stage one cams, with a stock intake, we made 600 horsepower and almost 600 foot-pounds of torque, which I thought was really, really good for just a cam and a touch-up on the cylinder right. heads. These stage twos, we have the premium uh, seats in them and premium guides. We have the manly um, uh, stainless steel intake valves. These are 2200 um, and the hollow exhaust valves. Uh, as well. These are uh, 1700 uh, on the exhaust side. And then also you can see on these heads, we also cut back the combustion chamber. We'll see if we can get a side by side with the stock head uh, on the uh, boss for the um, spark plug. That kind of protruded and it had uh, Dave Visner and myself a little worried that that on really high cylinder pressures might become a hot spot. Right. So we cut that back a little bit. Um, so that we have less, you know, uncooled um, cast aluminum in the uh, in the combustion chamber. Are you milling the deck at all on these? Uh, these are really set up to be uh, standard um, uh, surfaces, so we're not trying to get any more volume out of the chambers okay. on these. And then, of course, the exhaust side, same thing. Uh, you know, it's a nice CNC port. Really, uh, you know, the stock ports were really, really good. I mean that. Stock intakes flow just about 300 CFM. You know, these will flow substantially better, but a nice high port as well. The other cool feature on these heads is all 10 head bolts are the same, you know, the same, right. same distance. So we're really looking for good things with these stage two heads. I can't wait to get them on the dyno, uh, especially with the longer duration cams. And uh, I think they're gonna do really, really well, especially when we put it uh, with the Whipple supercharger on it. Now, is this something that somebody can just bolt right on? to a 7.3 without too much trouble? Like you said, uh, stock rocker system. Yeah, the, yeah, the stock rockers. Now again, if you're going this far, I wouldn't expect someone to use stock pistons and rods. Right. Because I think that the power that this is gonna generate in the RPM range you're gonna wanna run, you're gonna wanna go to something like the Calais rod uh, that they offer for the 7.3 and right. the Weissco pistons to go with that. So you're gonna want something a little bit more durable than the stock stuff. This is for the person that's going after really a serious upgrade as opposed to a mild upgrade, which the stage one heads are designed for. Right, now you mentioned the importance of CNC porting versus, I guess, hand porting. Is that mm. just for a consistency factor? Absolutely, yeah, with the CNC porting, you know you're what you're gonna get, and you're gonna get it, you know, the same time, all, the same results all the time. And even with, uh, even the stage one head, we do qualify the chambers with those as well. Okay. Because again, the combustion chambers we real important for knock, uh, characteristics. Oh, nice. Well, I can't wait to see these on an engine and uh, I'm sure they're going to make big power. Yep. Okay, yeah, and, and we're going to have to have you back once we put these on the dyno and really be able to publish uh, numbers that we can talk about with confidence. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see them run. Brian, once again, thanks for having us up here. we got a lot of stuff coming up on the 7.3. Stay tuned to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, absolutely leave a comment and tell us what you want to see 
If you got questions for Brian, drop them in the comments section.